da 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 So I hinted a little bit at the next game, which is inspired by the Hanafuda cards. It is one of the games that you play from Hanafuda, and that is Garuta. So let me explain a little bit about what Garuda cards. Garuda cards are not um, Japanese originally. They are Portuguese. But they are the, they're the card games that the Japanese sailors brought. And then the Japanese took their own interpretation of these cards with Hanafuda, early, early, early Hanafuda cards, and just kind of put them together and created their own sort of um, uh, 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 card games. Basically, the way you play Karuta gar uh, games, it's sort of like um, uh, you have to match combinations of cards, but it ends up being kind of like a race, almost like a battle. And these games were very, very popular, maybe still very popular, with um, children as a way of uh, memorizing things. And so sometimes teachers would use Karuta games as a way of um, reviewing lessons, lesson items, and uh, uh, helping to create stories out of these cards. Again, that are a kind of um, a race you're competing against other people by playing cards in relation to your opponent's cards. That is going to become very important with these other games I'm about to mention, which is, if we talk about Garuta, now we're going to talk about Uta Garuta. Now, what is Uta Garuta? Oh, by the way, um, I almost forgot to mention so remember I talked about how uh, Nintendo got its start as a card, card playing card company. Well, Karuta and Ura Karuta became enormously popular, and but but with you know Western influence and Western card games, you know these games their popularity died out. But with but. Uh, in the in the seventies and the eighties and the nineties, uh, the traditional Japanese games kind of had a second wave of popularity. So much so that there is a, a, a manga based on Garuta called Chihaya Furu, and this is a pretty popular manga that is now an anime and a live action show, uh, all based on. Uh, this uh, card game. Now, what is Ura Garuta? Well, Ura, Ura Garuta basically is Karuta, but what it is is the, the first player uses the picture cards to tell a story. Uh, actually, it's, it's poems, to be honest with you. Uh, specifically, it is its po poems. And the other players, in order to win, they have to race to choose cards that will finish the poem. And whoever can finish the poems will then collect the cards. In, in a way, they get to sort of trade playing cards. They're like trading cards. In a, in a sort of a poetry battle system. And it can get very boisterous sometimes. Um, and let me see if I can give you an example of, of one of these games. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The very popular, very popular games um, for such a long time. But also, also, um, don't think, don't, don't let this picture fool you that... There are, there are people who will play this game uh, in kimono and very traditional dress just to kind of get in the, the mood. Because remember, it's a storytelling game. It's a, it's a poetry slam. It's a poetry battle, right? And, and they get really in deep with Japanese culture. It's very fun. It's very fun and very cute, too. Uh, by the way, um, I am not familiar with the manga, but I would like to read it. Maybe I should. Maybe that'll be my homework. <laughs>